Hi, I'm Jody Lee Stewart. Welcome to my series, Grammar Stinks, or, as some say, Grammar Stinks. Do extreme grammar terms like coordinating conjunctions, comma splices, restrictive clauses, appositives, and non-restrictive clauses make you want to scream? Me too. Let's not use them, okay? Did you know many people consider commas their enemies? Maybe you made a bad grade on a school paper because you used the two-inch rule. That is, you placed a comma every two inches on your term paper just to show your instructor you were seriously trying. When your paper came back with severe grammar scoldings, you may have sworn off comma love forevermore. Or, perhaps, if someone tried to eat your grandma when you penned, let's eat grandma instead of let's eat comma. Grandma, when you were merely calling grandma to the table to dine, that surely could have caused bad feelings toward commas. When you think about it, was it really the fault of the commas? I believe if the commas you have used incorrectly over the years could talk, they'd probably thank you for all the interesting misadventures. Just a thought. To be honest, properly using commas won't give you rippling muscles, money, or a trip around the world, but it will clarify your writing and earn you praise. In my next three videos, I'm going to show you how to use three basic commas without using extreme highbrow grammar terms you don't need, unless you are studying to be an English professor. You'll learn how to place a comma when introducing one sentence to another sentence, how to use a comma between two complete sentences, and how to use commas inside a list. And I'll show you each rule in 60 seconds or less. Sound good? All right, I'll be waiting for you.